Hey, I'm Lee Barker and I'm 29 years old. Um, when did I know I was gay? Uh, I have an interesting story. I, I was sort of one of those people that flip flop between girls and boys for quite a long time and may have hurt, unintentionally hurt a few people because of doing that. But um, Jonathan Taylor Thomas from Home Improvement was the first person that made me realise that I had crush on boys. And I sort of grew up thinking with a father who was who ran a football club and ran a cricket club and I was it was it was the understanding that you were meant to be the man you were meant to get married you meant to have kids you meant to play sport and um, I think I've done the complete opposite in the fact that I dance I sing I date boys um, it was probably about 18 19 when I actually realized that I was gay and that was purely because I'd been in a relationship with a girl for two years and she wanted to wait for sex for marriage and I was happy with that. I was, yep, that's cool, that's fine, that's, I don't, it doesn't bother me at all. But that was my way out of having sex with a girl. Um, since breaking up with her I dated boys, I went back to girls, I went back to boys. Um, I came out to my mother when I was 17, 18. We were driving home from a theatre show and I was seeing someone that was in the show and I, I swore to God she'd seen me stare and, and linger too long on this one person. So I was like, all right, I have to tell her. So driving home in the car and pulled the car over and I was like, mum, I need to tell you I'm interested in boys. And she was fine. She went silent for probably two or three minutes, but was like, that's okay with me. You're still my son and I love you. Um, my parents are married and have been married for 26 years, um, but I asked her specifically not to tell my father. I said, that's that's my choice and I will tell him when I'm good and ready. And it wasn't till probably 11 years later that I told my father. Um, they're still married and she kept the secret for a very long time. And my father, who was the football player, the, f the football coach, I was scared shitless to tell him. And when I did, he probably didn't speak for about an hour and the only thing he said to me was I don't get it I don't understand it and he goes I don't understand why you want to be gay or why you want to have sex with men but I'll accept it because you are my son and I love you and it was okay and so this pent-up thing that I'd had in my body for 11 years was all bullshit I didn't need to have that Kept upness because he was actually quite fine with it. My brother, I told my sister before my father, and she was so accepting. She said, I don't care, whatever, you're still late. And my brother was probably the, the weirdest one because we'd always had this, this ongoing joke because I did theatre and he did football that uh, I was the gay one because I danced. And I was like, Well, you're the one that jumps in the showers with the boys after the football and slap each other on the ass. I'm like, You're the gay one. So when I actually did come out to him, he was kind of like, Oh, Shit, okay, my brother's gay, right. Um, the first person that I did come out to, the entire, uh, out of anybody, was my auntie. And my dad's one of ten, and they're all married once, if not twice. And this particular auntie was only eight years older than me, so we used to spend a lot of time together. And we used to go to this random art class on a Wednesday evening, and we had to drive from Epping to Springvale to do it every single week. And she was sort of my confidant, my person that I went to, asked about life questions, because she was only eight years older and had sort of done it all. She, she'd done the drugs, she'd done the sex, she'd had kids young. So she kind of knew everything, so I'd go to her. And she opened it with, I welcomed it with open arms. She absolutely adored the fact that she had a gay nephew. <laughs> um, I have, I'm also the oldest of 39 grandchildren on one side of the family. And my cousin, who's probably about eight years younger than me, came out before I did, probably by two weeks. Um, he was probably the, the ability to tell the entire family. And being a big, big family, they, they, they knew people come in all different shapes, sizes, beliefs, religions, all that type of stuff. So that was a really easy transition for me. Um, I work in the arts, so acceptance of homosexuality is huge. Um, yeah, you still find the, the random people that may be a male dancer that's straight in the world or something like that, that get a bit iffy about it when gay guys get too over the top and too camp. And to be honest, I date boys because I like men. 
I even get a little bit weird about over the top gay men. So. Have I missed anything? No, that's kind of cool. Thank you. Are you comfortable now? Are you happy with who you are now? Yeah, more than, more than ever I'm com comfortable with myself. Um, I live with my partner. I have lived with him for over a year and a half and he will be the person I marry. Mm. Guarantee it. Guarantee it. We've travelled through America together and if we can withstand living out of suitcases together then I promise you we can get married.